In this video, we will show you how to file a markup request using iTick. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, select Submit a Locate Request. This will bring you to the iTick User Information and Excavator Information sections. Be sure your name and contact info are in the iTick User Information section. Confirm all excavator information and make any necessary changes before clicking Next Step. This will take you to steps 1 and 2. First, step 1. Contact information. Enter the name and telephone number of another person who will be on site during the excavation. In the type of work field, enter the purpose of the excavation, and not the method. You can use the keyword auto search function here. For instance, entering the word repair will bring up a list of potential matches. Next, list the type of equipment you will be using for this project. For work being done for, enter the name of the organization, company, or person the work is being done for. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to Step 3, Location Information. Using the drop-down menus, select the county and city or borough the work is taking place in. Enter the numeric portion of the address where the work is taking place. If there is no address, leave this field blank. In the street field, enter the name of the dig street. In the intersecting street field, enter the name of the road that intersects the dig street closest to where the work will take place. Please keep in mind that this will not necessarily be a major road. In the second intersecting street field, enter the name of the street that intersects the dig street on the other end of the block. The checkboxes refer to areas where you will be excavating. Check all that apply. In the Location of Work field, enter a complete description of your entire excavation area. Be as detailed as possible. It is very important that you describe the entire worksite, and not just where you believe lines may be buried. Next is Step 4, the Map It section. Here you will define an area on the map that will completely encompass your worksite. The iTIC computer thinks it has found the approximate location of the worksite address. This potential match is represented by a pre-generated polygon surrounding the parcel where the address is believed to be located. In order to complete the mapping section, you will need to choose one of the pre-generated polygons or draw your own. There are several tools available to help ensure you are mapping in the correct area. Selecting the Identify tool will allow you to click on certain map features to learn more information about them. This additional information will be displayed at the bottom of the Map It section after the word Highlight. The Measure tool can be used to measure distances in a straight line or a complex route. With the Measure tool selected, first click on any point on the map. This will be your starting point. As you move the cursor, pay attention to the segment length and total length. The total length indicates the distance between your starting point and where the cursor is currently located along the route you have created. The segment length indicates the distance between your cursor's current position and the last point you made along the route. The Placemark tool allows you to drop placemarks on the map for later reference. The Placemark tool can be quite useful when used in conjunction with the Measure tool. If the Change Shape button is available, you can use it to cycle through a list of computer-generated polygons. The Change Size button can be used to expand or contract the computer-generated polygons. Users with special training can also hand-draw their polygon. Please click on the Request for Mapping icon on the main menu to schedule a training session, or send an email to nyitic at occinc.com. Select the Draw tool and click on the map where you would like to begin. Continue clicking until your entire work area is encompassed. To close out the polygon, click on the same point where you began. You can also view the map area in a number of different formats. We are currently viewing the OCC map, which is the default map for iTIC. The satellite map contains overhead satellite imagery. The Google Map contains information from the Google Maps database. The Hybrid Map displays a combination of OCC mapping and satellite imagery. You will need to be in the OCC Map view to move on with the ticket. 
Once you are sure your entire work area has been encompassed, move to step 5, Start Date Information. Select a start date and time for your project using the calendar buttons and drop-down menus. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will bring you to the Utility Notification List. This is a complete list of the utilities that will be notified as a result of your ticket. At this point, clicking Next Step will submit your locate request to the call center for review. You may now start a new ticket or return to the main menu.